Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. My name is Pastor Caroline Barclay here in Glasgow, and I am the pastor at Master's Hand Ministry. Now, because we're not meeting as a, as a group, we're uh, doing this all by video, we are going to miss the music that would normally be presented. So this afternoon I am going to try to sing, and I'm praying that God will get me through a song called How Deep the Father's Love for Us. And that's also the name of my message this afternoon, and it's based on the song. So I'd like to open in prayer. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this uh, time of year. As we step away from the summer season, right into the fall, Father God, we thank you that already we see the leaves changing. As we look at your landscape, Father God, it won't be long until we see a kaleidoscope of color, and it will be so beautiful. Father, I pray that as we come into the fall months, that... Uh, COVID-19 will come on a quiet side of things, Father God, and that uh, perhaps maybe we'll all be able to join together soon. That would be a delight. But in the meantime, Father, thank you for the means and ways that you have of bringing us all together. So, Lord, bless us this afternoon, bless us in the song and in the message, and bring all of it to the listening ears of many who want to hear, Father God, your word, and those who need to hear your word, Father God. So I thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss, the father turns his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory john chapter 15 verse 13 in the good news bible which i will use for all scripture today reads this way the greatest love a person can have for his friends is to give up his life for them Behold the man upon a cross, my sin upon his shoulders. Ashamed I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers. It was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished his dying breath has brought me life I know that it is finished I will not boast in anything no gifts no power no wisdom but i will boast in jesus christ his death and resurrection why should i gain from him I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. 
His wounds have paid my ransom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, Lord. This song, How Deep the Father's Love, by Stuart Townend tells us the complexity and yet the simplicity of the Father's love. It is deep, vast, generous, caring, and giving. He was willing to die for us and did give up his life for us. He is our Savior our Redeemer. How great the Father's love for us. We will never comprehend how much he loved and loves us until we meet him face to face in glory. Then we will be overwhelmed, amazed, and so grateful. In John chapter 15, verse 9, we read, I love you just as the Father loves me. Remain in my love. Here, Christ is telling us to remain in his love, and we will have the love of the Father, the God who made heaven and earth and everything in it. We will have his love. Imagine that for a moment. Such a deep and vast love that we can never truly measure. Christ says in verse 10 of John chapter 15, If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in His love. He tells us that this, so that our joy may be full and complete, as it says in verse 11. And then in verses 12 to 14 and in verse 17, he says this, My commandment is this, Love one another, just as I love you. The greatest love a person can have for his friends is to give up his life for them. And you are my friends. If you do what I command you, then this is what I command you. Love one another. This is such a beautiful scripture. Do you love others as Christ loves you? Are you willing to protect and to provide for others as he does for you? Will you step out and help another even if the person is a stranger to you? and you can see that help is needed. Will you? Can you love others because of the love for the Father and the love that he bestows upon you? Are you walking in and carrying out the command to love one another? As we are told in John chapter 15, verse 17. These are some questions to ask yourself. And wait for an answer. Be truthful with your answer. And ask God to direct your path. That you would be able to love others as Christ loves you. And that you are willing to protect and to provide others as he does for you that you'd be willing to help anyone, a family member, a friend, 
a stranger, that you would treat them all equal, as Christ treats every one of us as equal. And you would do all of that because you walk in the Father's love and because he fills you with his love every day. He wants you to share that love. So, the command is to love one another. People sometimes leave the faith, as we say. However, God never leaves us. He promises to stay with us, as we read in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. His love is so great that even when we walk away, he waits, patiently waits on our return. I love how David Jeremiah writes about God's love. In the devotional, Daily in His Presence, David writes in one of the writings this paragraph. The angels of God know better. God's power, peace, presence, and provision are infinite. In our finite minds, we have difficulty grasping the height, the depth, and width of God's love. It never ends. The angels in heaven celebrate every time a human being returns to God. That is how deep his love is for us. His love is calling us to come to him, be it for the first time in our lives or to go back to him if we've wandered away. And most importantly, to stay close to him so that we can have his power, peace, presence, and provision, as David Jeremiah says. The words of the song, How Deep the Father's Love, tells us the gospel story. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to give up his life on the cross, to redeem us, to pay for our sin. His pain was so great that even Father God had to turn his face away as Christ died to bring many sons to glory. In other words, Christ took all of us as the wretches we were and made us God's treasure. Imagine that. Thank you, Lord. Our sin held Christ on the cross, and our sin under the blood of Christ has been paid in full. And he purchased salvation for everyone who calls him Lord and Savior and lives under his love and command. We will never be able to answer the age-old question, why would he do that for us? Only to say that God's word tells us this is how much he loves us, that he sent his son who was willing to die in our place. His wounds have paid my ransom. His wounds have paid your ransom. How deep the Father's love for us. How deep the Father's love for us. Why should I gain from his reward? 
I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, today and every day, we are grateful for your love that covers us from the day of birth and the, until the day of our home going. We thank you, Lord, for angels who look after us and for the Holy Spirit who keeps us in your ways. We thank you for the gift of salvation and your son Jesus who made that provision for us. We pray, Father God, that we will bring honor and glory to you in all the days of our lives. Amen. I do pray that each one who's listening to me today has a relationship with the Father and can appreciate, perhaps maybe on some level, how deep Father God's love is for each one of us. So those of us who have a faith walk every day are reminded of God's love. But what about those who have never accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, and who perhaps don't know him as the friend to all. When I think of that age-old song, what a friend we have in Jesus, not everyone would be able to make that statement or understand if they don't have a faith walk. So for those of you who are walking with the Lord, I pray that you will watch out for people around you that do not know Jesus and that you would take the opportunity to ask them, is Jesus your friend? And do you know how much Father God loves you? How deep his love is for you? Simple questions to open a conversation. And I believe that when you start that conversation, God will guide your words and he will give you the words that you need. This afternoon, for each of you that are walking with the Lord, I say, wow, isn't it a wonderful journey? And one day, we'll come to the end of the road here and we will enter the heavenlies with the Lord. How beautiful, what a day that'll be, when my Savior I shall see. Thank you, thank you, Father. But if there's someone listening today and you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, may I pray with you? Would you bow your head with me and ask Christ to come into your life? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I lift those today before you who are listening and yet do not know you as Lord and Savior. Whatever age they are, Father God, from the very young to the very old, you want every single person on the face of the earth to know you as Lord and Savior. Your love reaches all over the world and you are willing, Father God, to take each one by the hand and show them what it is to have a walk with you. You proved that when you went to the cross and took the sin of the world upon your shoulders and you paid the debt of sin. Father God, I pray, even if one heart this afternoon accepts you, then we would bring that glory to you. So as I pray, if you're listening and you want 
Jesus as Lord. Please say this after me. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner and I need a Savior. I understand from this message today that Jesus Christ is the Redeemer and Savior. I ask him to come into my heart today to begin to change who I am into who you see me to be. I thank you, Lord, that your love is deep and vast, forgiving and giving. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me as a child and bringing me into the family of God. Amen. I trust as you prayed that prayer that something is stirred in your heart and that right away you will say thank you Lord for hearing the cry of my heart. Every person I meet I want to know what their walk is. I want to know if they know Jesus. And if not, I want to share my friend Jesus with them. God has given me many opportunities to do that, and for that I'm grateful. But I look forward to the many who are still in my path that I've yet to speak to, and you as well. You have that same opportunity, whether you're brand new at accepting Christ, or whether you've walked years and years with them, God is asking us all to share his love and to teach others how deep the Father's love for us truly is. Well, folks, I hope that this message touched your heart today. As I listened to that song just in the last few days, it stirred my heart and reminded me of how much we are loved. It's very difficult to perhaps understand with the gravity of it all the true love that Jesus brought to the cross. One day when we are all in heaven, those of us who accepted him as Lord and Savior, we will then be made very well aware of the gift given to us. Let us not take it for granted. Let us be thankful every day. This week, as you come into this brand new week of fall, there will be many things to do, chores to do, to get yourself ready for fall. If you're strong and healthy, I pray that you'll give a helping hand to someone who is in need and that you'll see that. It'll bless you and it'll bless them. Continue to stay tuned with us. Tomorrow, Spencer will bring something to think about. And uh, Tuesday, he will have a Bible study. He's in Ecclesiastics. Wednesday, I will have a writing, something that you can read. And uh, hopefully, you will enjoy as the Lord prepares it for me. Thursday, Peter's Picks will be up. And Friday and Saturday, Bill will have things on the uh, website. If you have something interesting to share um, about God's love, maybe you've read a poem or you've heard a song or you've, you know a story, send that to Bill at the website and uh, perhaps maybe that's something that we can put up for others to enjoy. I trust that you'll join me again next Sunday as we come back again with a word from the Lord, using his scripture, realizing that the Bible indeed is basic instruction before leaving earth. I love that acronym. It makes me feel like I only need that one book and I can be blessed by it. I can learn. I can be brought to understanding and so can you. So I pray that you will pick up your Bible and uh, read it on a daily basis. Again, thank you for joining me and we'll see you next week. God bless you.